The baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion Francis Ngannou with me now. Champ, thanks for coming on. The last time... Thank you, you Max. Well, it's great to see you. The last time you were in the octagon, you knocked out Stipe Miocic in your rematch in March, avenging an earlier defeat. What are you thinking about as Saturday approaches and you get ready to get back in there for the first time since then? Well, it's been a long time, and... Uh... I'm very excited, you know, to to have that feeling of uh, winning, you know, that taste. Yeah. And um, we are two days away, feeling feeling good, you know. Going to go out, out there, put the show, and try to earn, earn another feeling like that. And it's, I mean, you really earn it in the UFC because there are no soft touches. You go from Stipe Miocic, a great fighter, to Cyril Ghosn who, by the way, is the slight betting favorite at this moment. How do you feel about being the underdog as champion, especially coming off the performance you just had against Stipe? Well, um, usually I don't uh, look about those stuff, and I don't care about it, because uh, the first time that I lost against Stipe, I was uh, 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 the favorite, mm -hmm. by far the favorite, and it didn't go well on my way. So those that doesn't matter much. And I, I think, uh, honestly, I think like right here, uh, why, why uh, the reason is just because uh, in the past month, they've been doing everything to promote him. And technically, I would say this promote me. And uh, people kind of like sleep on my performance and forget about me. Um, Champ, I've been in the fight game a long time, like on the boxing side. And I know as a fight approaches, Champions have a kind of I'm going to war mentality. I've been cursed out by the best of them around this time as fight as the fight approaches. Mark Ramondi has a, a piece on ESPN.com right now about you and Cyril and your former trainer, Fernand Lopez. In the piece, there's a link to a video of you walking by Cyril and Fernand and not acknowledging them. And they said they were offended. You know, like they kn knew you from way back and were offended by it. Why didn't you acknowledge their presence? No, they wasn't offended. They were they were acting like they were offended because they know the one who were offended. Uh, should, I should have been the one offended by all the uh, thing that uh, Fernand is out there like saying. The guy now had take a mission on me to uh, sabotage me. Mm -hmm. Just I mean, just because we don't get along together, just because we don't work together, then he decided like to come. Um, to go out there and say anything about me. And lately, you know, he's been having a microphone and say a ton of things that you can even, like, uh, uh, put them together. You know, they are not coherent. But, um, and then at that point, like, when I saw them, uh, I'm like, you know, why would I go say hi to this guy? He's not carrying me on in his heart. You know, he's been out there officially, like, telling people, uh, how we are not alone, how I am bad, how I did. So I'm like, yes, let me save you out of the bad people. You know, just walk by uh, without going there and bother him. I shouldn't bother him. And not to mention, I didn't know what, uh, getting close to him, I, he could have said something that I didn't say because he's mm -hmm. very good at manipulating, at lying, and that's something that I didn't want to give an opportunity. So at least on that video, they, they can see that uh, I didn't uh, say anything who can be manipulated or, or transformed. And by manip you're talking about Cyril now, not your former coach, but Cyril gone manipulated. No, 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 I'm not, no, I'm not talking about Cyril. I'm talking oh, your about coach. my former coach. Fernand yeah. Lopez, got it. Okay, yeah. you showed in the Stipe rematch that you've made great strides technically as a fighter. You're able to defend against takedowns and, of course, deliver your devastating power. How do you beat Cyril? Uh, I think it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be the same the same thing. Uh, Cyril is just the same uh, type of fighter as Stipe, with the only difference that he doesn't have a Stipe wrestling and he doesn't have a Stipe chin. Uh, maybe he's a little light on his foot than Stipe, but uh, Stipe has a, a better cage control and know how uh, to ha move more uh, in the better way. So. If you get by Cyril, and again, I champ, I love this fight. No, you are tremendous. 
I think so is Cyril. A hard fight. Like, real fight fans cannot wait to see this matchup on Saturday night. Let's say you win. I know you don't want to look past him, but the name that comes up is John Jones because your contract's also up with the UFC. You have also talked about a fight against Tyson Fury. He said with MMA gloves, but in a boxing ring. What is it that you are looking at should you be victorious against Cyril Saturday night? Well, honestly, at this point, uh, I, I don't really know. But um, last time we were talking about, before Stipe fight, they were talking about this John John fight. And the USA even said officially, like the winner is fighting John Jones. And uh, suddenly after I won the fight, uh, that uh, didn't come out at all. And, um, you know, I'm not chasing ghosts. I'm not yet to, chasing, to chase ghosts. I'm chasing what is uh, real, what is possible. Uh, but uh, at this point, I don't know what is uh, the stage of our situation, of my situation with the UFC. So we're going to see how all this plays out and uh, see what is on the table, then we can deal with what is on the table. But uh, as for now, I can uh, allow myself to speculate about uh, anything. I understand you have a tall order in front of you as a fight fan. If the winner of this fight, if that is you, as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world against John Jones... That would be, I think for hardcore fans, that might be the most anticipated fight ever. It would be the first time John Jones entered the ring as an underdog, in my opinion, champ. Closing words? Yeah, we've been waiting. We, we were waiting that uh, 10 months ago, and he was exactly the same narrative about it. Uh, and fan was all over excited. Everybody was excited about this fight, waiting. But um, they didn't do anything to make that fight happen, so... Uh, I move on. I decided not to let uh, not to let it control me. I mean, Stipe, and right after Stipe, Cyril, you, you, you don't duck. And I cannot wait to see this fight Saturday night. Best of luck, champ. Thank you very much, Mark. Appreciate you. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.